Hi, this is Dave from Socket Plane, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run Open vSwitch on Docker. So the first thing you're going to need to do, if you're on a Mac and you've got boot to Docker, you're going to enable the Open vSwitch kernel module. So we ls mod, uh, grab Open vSwitch, and you'll see there is no module loaded. Then we mod probe, Open vSwitch, and that will then load the kernel module. There we go. So once that's done, uh, we can then docker run minus itd cap add net admin socket plane forward slash open vswitch and we'll pick version 231. Okay, now if we docker ps, we can get our container ID and then we can verify it's running uh, by checking the docker logs. Okay, so now we've got a container, let's try and do something with it. So we'll docker exec, OVS, VS kettle, show, and we'll be able to see that we have OVS231. Um, we'll create a bridge called brfoo, and then we can do the show again, and verify the bridge has been created. Uh, we can also do uh, OF kettle, so we can check uh, to see if there's any flows installed on the bridge, and dump flows. Um, minus zero, oh, minus O, oh, sorry, open flow one three. And yep, we have no flows there except the default normal flow. And we can also check DP kettle to see the status of the kernel module and flows that were installed there. So we have full flexibility of open vSwitch available to us. Now, the very cool thing is we can delete the container, uh, docker stop and docker rm. And then once the container has been deleted and removed, we can go and start up a new one. And if we go grab that ID, and then we'll do a VS Kettle show, you'll see there's absolutely nothing there. So uh, we've sandboxed the uh, configuration. Um, so you can spin up as many open V switches as you want. Uh, you can play around with them. They're all independent. They're all disposable. So uh, this is great for continuous integration and testing against various versions of Open vSwitch. Uh, all of the versions of OVS are available. Uh, everything from version uh, 146 uh, through to the very latest 231. Um, so I'll just spin up a, a 146 container. And once it's uh, finished downloading, you'll be able to see that we can have both Open vSwitch 146 and 231 running in parallel. So if we wanted to test against both of these while they're live, we, we could totally do that. Um, so that's it. That's, our, that's how easy it is to run Open vSwitch inside Docker. And we hope that you'll get some use of it. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. We're on GitHub. Uh, you can find us on IRC on Freenode in the Socket Plane channel or uh, hit us up on Twitter, um, at SocketPlane, or you can hit me up on at Dave underscore Tucker.